The idea is pretty sweet. You know, when you're out camping, pop that baby open, and then I'm gonna do a moldy rack in here that will hold your gear, so. Part two, baby. All right, what's up guys? James here from Spiral Design Works YouTube channel. We are working again on the WJ side window project. Uh, if you watch part one, you're probably wanting part two. So I got these cut, laser cut from uh, my CAD drawing that I supplied my laser guy. Um, they are a really nice match to the actual factory glass windows. Um, one of the corners I gotta add a little bit more uh, radius to it, but I haven't done that yet. I did just take a DA and a sander and just kind of sanded the edges and put a little bit of a 32nd, 16th of an inch radius around the edge. Um, I may actually use a router and route a really nice edge, but I want to get that done. Um, so the next step is going to be, this is a little template I made, and this is the curve that I need in this, in this side panel. So the there's that much curve needed uh, up and down and side to side it's really not a whole lot maybe about a quarter of an inch at the most 3 16 maybe so I'm gonna try to kneel this and put it in the old English wheel and see if I can give it some shape yep over here talking to myself I'm broke I'm broke, I'm broke bitch all right so we are going to attempt to anneal this piece of aluminum. It's 3 16 See if I can blow my off. All right, so you want a dirty flame? Get this baby nice and black. basically trying to do is take this aluminum from hard to like half hard or full, full soft I mean. Alright, so we got it all carbon up. I'm just going to work my way over and you basically burn the carbon off. Once the panel starts to heat up, it'll start going pretty quick. you can see this but it's pretty bumpy and warpy now uh, I'm gonna have to let it cool for probably 30 minutes or so before I can really handle it but it, it uh, it's all wavy but that's part of getting it soft and we'll run it through the wheel all right so this panel's still a little warm but I'm impatient so I'm gonna go ahead and beat it a little bit uh, with on the panel bag here. Oh yeah. Alright. All right, so that just pre-shaped it a little bit, and now I'll take it over to the wheel. All right, guys, so we're gonna try a little different technique on this one. I got a, some lines drawn on here, and I'm gonna wheel up and down these lines in a more not so, what's the word I'm looking for, Dave? Random. Not so random fashion, thank you. 
And uh, you can see how warped it is right now after I kneeled it. So all that has to get taken out of there. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and wheel this baby out with this English wheel. And uh, it's a compound curve. It's curved this way and that way, so it's basically like a little bowl. Um, and basically I'm gonna be wheeling up the panel to these divots that I made with the uh, hammer and the panel bag. Alright, so I don't know if you can see this or not, but it's got a nice little crown to it. Nothing too exciting. Um, I probably won't use the hammer on the panel bag next time on the other one. I've been working this panel for about 30, 40 minutes now to get all those little dents out. This thicker material I'm used to working with 16, 18 gauge aluminum. And uh, this 3 16 has been a little bit of a bugger, so. I have been wheeling on this panel for, I'll be honest, a couple hours now and I think I finally got it where I'm pretty happy with it. You can see, kind of hard to see, but it's laying up against the glass real nice there. On there, looks, it's pretty good. It's a little gappy right there. And then, on there. But overall, I think it's taking the shape pretty well. It's got a few little bumps and wiggles I'm going to have to get out of it because you'll see it when you paint it, but I'm ready to pull this window. All right, so I happen to have this tool here, which is a tool I must have bought somewhere that's supposed to help take windows out. So we'll see what happens. Boy, that shit's hard as a rock. I'm gonna be perfectly honest. Getting this window out is kicking my ass. Um, it is glued in with some sort of glue that they could have glued, I don't know, the space shuttle together with because it does not want to come out. So we've tried custom Sawzall blades. I've tried uh, this window cutter. This is designed to cut out. Oh, I just cut myself something. Um, this is designed to cut windshields out. Um, I just went and bought this which it looks like it's gonna do the job. Um, I tried it with this like scraper blade, which didn't really do it, but now I've got a teeth blade on here. And, uh, and it's slow going, but it, you gotta like, right at the metal edge to the rubber edge, you gotta sit there and, and cut through that. And man, it's tough. Probably about 30, 40 minutes of that, and I'll have this window out. I don't cut this. <laughs> All right, so in continuing in the tradition of this being a royal pain in the ass, um, you can see down in here when I was cutting through with the blade from the inside, I was hitting the paint there, and that sucks. So I'm putting these paint sticks in here, and I may even put a piece of tape on it to hold them and then that should help with that. All right, so we got the, the top and the sides cut free. Got my lovely assistant, Mac, here, who just got out of bed. And uh, you're gonna be YouTube famous now, Mac. So I just gotta cut that bottom edge and we'll break this baby free. Boy, has it been a pain in the ass. I've been at it for about 45 minutes here with this uh, fine craftsman tool here. Out. Boom! That was a pain in the arse. 
All right, we got it out. Uh, despite our attempts to save the paint here, we did nick the paint. Or I nicked the paint, I can't blame it on anybody else. Uh, even though I had them wood sticks in there, they must have moved or it went underneath the wood. Yeah, I'm dragging Mackenzie into this. It's all your fault, Mac. Yeah, I've got it pretty good down there. So, that's something to be aware of if you're going to try this pain in the ass procedure here. So I'm going to take that tool and clean up the rest of this rubber. Alright, so here is the panel. You can see these reflections. It's a little dippy. I got a must be something going on right here. You can see that, see that? That light shadow. Jump over that, so there's a little little hill right there. But, I've got it laying on this glass super nice. All the way around, so I'm real happy with the overall shape. I'm just gonna have to planish it a little more. It's real light pressure on the wheel. After an exhaustive tool search and got this window out, I honestly think it might be easier just to break the window out and then you would just work along here with the tool and get that glue out because I mean it really did a lot of damage. I am going to be repainting the Jeep so I'll be able to fix this at that time. So this is a back window seal out of a WJ, back glass seal, which I think is going to work good. I had to do a relief cut there and a relief cut on the inside seal, not actually on the outside seal that seals against the glass. This could be a little issue right here, sealing, but I think, it, I think it's going to seal. So that actually fit in there pretty nice. So now I'm going to start working on the hinges and getting all that mounted. One thing I wanted to point out was that there are left and right hinges. So I'll come up here. You can see how that has a taper to it. And this one has, so you can see how these have a taper. So that's allowing for the curve of what was the back of the ZJ. And so since the WJ has a curve to it too, it should work out fine. Because the idea is, is that the center line of the hinge pin is actually there and actually line with each other. So if you, all we're doing is taking this like this and stretching it out hopefully matching up you know the curve of the truck they're gonna be on the truck like this and that that hinge center line will be pretty close so I went and marked it up on the truck and I'm gonna go ahead and drill those now so, so I got my holes marked approximately 3 8 down from this edge and I went over like 4 inches and then 16 and so they're gonna be something like that so I'm going to use an auto punch. Now the factory had kind of oversized holes which allowed for some adjustment. We might have to make the holes bigger too, but we'll just see what happens. Be sure to check your factory hinges here. This one had a whole bunch of goo on here. With this factory glue that was keeping it stood off from the, from the surface that we were trying to have here. So I'm just cleaning this up. Now that should lay on there a lot better. I 
So center line wise. Shim it to get it a little better. Maybe a shim on this inside if we need it to see if it binds. Let get it all together. I'm gonna go ahead and bolt these in. So these ZJ rear glass hinges could not have worked any better. The shape, I mean it just fits in here <laughs> absolutely perfect, it's kind of amazing really but uh, that was what I was hoping for and uh, yeah yeah. We got it in place kind of where we want it and we just marked the holes, we're going to drill the holes and get this baby mounted. Okay, so this is the gasket that goes between the hinge and the glass, in our case this aluminum panel, and then this goes on here, like that, and goes through the panel, this goes down, through like that. So you can see there's that little, that little raised area there, so I've, I've got a drill bit that matches that, that diameter of this part here. So this whole thing will lock in there. So, got a little binding issue up here. Actually binding on the, it could go down about a sixteenth of an inch, which might be all I need up here. So I'll take this back off. I'll drummel out them holes a little bit. See if I can uh, move it. But, boom. Getting there. All right, this is looking pretty good. There it is, I got it all lined up. Looks pretty good. Opens up real nice. No issues with the hinges binding or anything. So I figure it'll be about, probably about up like that. Back a little bit here. The seal's a little messed up. So a little shot from the inside. So that seal seals it up real nice. My shape of the panel looks really nice. Obviously this seal will have to get probably shortened a little bit and it's binding up. It's a little bit too long in that area right there. But overall, it's exactly what I was thinking. All right, so I measured the, uh, 
This the latch mechanism. This is off the WJ back window glass. Sits right on this ledge. Like perfect. Look at that. So literally, all I have to do is drill a couple holes. Either use some well nuts or something. Probably use well some threaded well nuts to go in there to hold that. And uh, so it's about from this face down here to the center of that. It's about two and five sixteenths. So measured up two and five sixteenths from here. Get a mark. Goes in like that. So if I just flip it around, you can see here. Like that. Okay, Well, this has the same thing where it has this raised boss that goes what well, would have been through the glass. So, I'm going to uh, go find a drill bit that's that size. on. It's real nice. I think it looks super factory. Alright, so I think what I'm going to have to do is put the seal in and get somebody to push on it. Oh. Man, this has been a long project. Um, Alright, so I'm using the right bracket, which seems like it works a little better. The left is aimed up and the right is aimed down and so because this is ang angled forward the right one seems to work the best. So I'm basically lining that up right on this little factory seam here and kind of flush with this edge and it's going to bolt right there which basically leaves it, the bracket just about touching the seal where you'll still be able to get that seal on and it just will allow this good Hopefully pivot by there, no problem. And, uh, and then I have to pop a hole in the in the panel there. All right. There's like a triple layer of metal there, which is good. All right, so I'm working on this inside trim piece here. This was the uh, back uh, gate trim piece. If you can see that, I got it all cut down. I'm just gonna clean up these edges. Is gonna go on there like that. Put a couple screws in there. Boom! All right. Well, here is the finished product inside so far. Obviously, the aluminum panel still needs to be painted, and I'll probably just get it powder coated. But got the strut on there. Just had to do a little little notch on the panel there. Looks like I was off a little bit, but it still works. Everything else just fits up nice along the seals. The seal has to get locked on a little bit, but I mean, this is this is kind of janky here, but I gotta clean it up, but it does its job. It looks pretty good. The side over here fit well. Yeah, yeah. All right, so I guess this is gonna be it for part two um, of this. I'll probably do a part three with the powder coating, uh, all the wiring. But basically, I'm gonna wire it up with the same circuit that the back glass has. So when you unlock the car, these will be activated and then you'll be able to push the button. So I'm probably gonna put the button on the back tailgate, one on each side. I thought about putting this one in here, but I'll probably just put it on the tailgate. But I think overall the idea worked very well. I'm going to just go ahead and paint inside here for now black. 
because uh, it's going to be a while before we paint the Jeep. So I got to pull this all back off. I'll paint in here, black, just black, probably black this out too. And, uh, but seal worked great. The trim worked, worked great. The single hinge. This strut's no good right now, so that's why I'm holding it up. So I got to order some new struts, but I think just a single strut will work great. Um, it's, you know, really light. Uh, the alignment of the hinges wasn't an issue. And I have a little bit of planishing left to do on this panel. There's like a big old dip right in here I gotta work on. Um, but other than that, I think the idea is pretty sweet. You know, when you're out camping, pop that baby open. And then I'm gonna do a moldy rack in here that will hold your gear, so. Locks up, boom, seals up good. So anyways, hope you enjoyed this. Please like and subscribe to my channel. I uh, really appreciate it and any feedback, comments. If you see something I did that you're like, why the hell did you do that? Let me know. I can either explain it or maybe you have a better way to do it. I'd love to hear about it. Um, and uh, that's about it. Keep checking back for more. Peace out. Rear diff must be locked exactly. Oh my god, I'm getting obsessed. We're using a Wrangler to haul up another Cherokee. Go to passenger side if you can, Dave. Come on, little winch. Yeah. Have a great weekend, everybody. Shit. Wrangler rescuing a Cherokee. I don't know if this is bad karma or bad juju.